Ends. One Tampa family says their nightmare never ends. Their son killed near the fair four years ago. Tonight, a mother shares her heartache with News Channel 8's Melanie Michael, who joins us now live from the fairgrounds with a story. Mel. Keith, good evening to you. Andrew Joseph was just 14 years old when he died. Tonight, his family is preparing for a memorial here tomorrow. You never would have imagined that going to an event such as this would be the last event your son ever attends. Deanna Joseph remembers every detail from that Friday four years ago when her son attended student day at the Florida State Fair, including the final conversation they'd ever have. So I said, Andrew is cold, put on a jacket. He was like, oh, mom, it's gonna mess up my outfit. I'm like, put on the jacket. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office maintains that nearly 100 teenagers, including Andrew, were kicked out of the fair that night after getting out of control with law enforcement trying to keep the peace. Andrew's parents claim they never got a phone call that their 14-year-old was handcuffed, detained, then dropped off by deputies near the fairgrounds, left across I-4 to meet his carpool ride home. Each year, Andrew's mom prays for the safety of all children at the fair on student day. That was the last day my son was alive. And the family tells me that the wrongful death lawsuit they have filed is still winding its way through the court system. Meanwhile, tomorrow, they will hold a memorial right here at the fair at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office tells us that safety is their top priority every single year, and they will have extra deputies on hand. Keith? Melody Michael live at the fairgrounds for us tonight. Thank you.